Hey guys, I just wanted to put a video out for anybody that's got a problem child, a problem kid. I'm not talking about a baby kid. Uh, if you've got a 10 to 16 year old kid, you if you're a parent and you want to control the kid, you can control the kid. You can. I'm, I'm going to give a couple of do's and don'ts, and uh, you can take it or leave it. One thing I do want to say, uh, now you're looking at me and you see all this gray and hair loss and all, I'm older than I look, so I come from a generation where we were disciplined as children. There was always one kid on the block that wasn't disciplined. And that kid would always be the problem of the neighborhood. And that kid was always the kid that never made it or never succeeded. You had other types of families that had kids that were, uh, maybe they didn't punish their kids with a belt or anything like that, but, uh, or with the switch, yeah, switch, uh, you know, an NFL player got booted, uh, because he whipped his kid with a switch, what an insane thing, uh, but you had professional, some professional families, but they still discipline their children, Possibly in harsher ways, like go to your room and don't come out till I call you. And each degree would be a longer length of time in a room. Now, when I was a kid going to a room, there was no TVs in rooms or anything like that. Uh, there would be no radio playing. You'd, you'd just be stuck in there. That don't work today, unfortunately. Uh, so I'm going to tell you something of what not to do and what to do. Uh, what not to do is the guidance counselor calls you down there to the school. Look, why in the hell would you listen to somebody inside a schoolhouse? Now, I'm saying this, being married uh, to my wife, Joe and my daughter's mother, my wife, not my baby's mama, uh, that has been a, a, a teacher for many years. And I'm telling you, the last damn place you want to listen to somebody tell you how to rear your child is the place where you send them to learn how to cuss, how to lie, how to cheat how to steal, uh, how to be a victim, and how to uh, get on drugs and do bad things. So that's the last damn place. The guidance counselor calls your house, you need to settle that with your child. You need to figure that out. The government has never done anything that ever worked. Ever. Ever. If anything does work for a moment in time with the government, it's just for a moment in time because government is not going to allow anything to, to flourish that works. When I was a little kid, uh, we got our asses beat uh, with wooden paddles. And uh, it didn't feel good. It hurt. It hurt bad. And uh, we towed the line. Uh one time, instead of taking three licks with the paddle, the teacher told me whatever I was doing wrong, write it a thousand times. And I wrote the, the thousand times, I will not do this anymore. And I can't remember what it was, but I was a long, long time, many hours writing this. And uh, <clears throat> that's how much these paddles hurt. But now today, that you want to reason things out. Let's give a lollipop. 
And you can't do that. Not in this world you live in today. And let me tell you something else. If you're a mother or you're a father. And you listen and you listen to me good. If you don't know who your children's friends are, you are a sorry parent. If you don't know where your kids are, you are a sorry ass parent. Now let that sink in. If the school or the corner store is saying that your child is unruly or been stealing, are uh, doing bad things, you need to beat the crap out of your child. You need to, di when I say that, don't get ignorant with me uh, because I bite back. You need to pull a damn belt off. You need to wear your child's ass out. You, I got my ass wore out by two loving parents uh, with a belt. I'd have to go pick switches off of trees and get my ass tore up with those. Uh, I even got the top of my head hit with wooden fruit uh, by my mother, God rest her soul, uh, for getting out of line too bad one time. Uh, so, my generation... Some of us may have got whooped a little too much and it been too severe that we candy assed it all out with our kids and we didn't discipline and do right by our kids. For those of you that got your ass tore up too bad, uh, I'm not handing you lollipops. And here's why. Uh, there are people in World War II, children, that saw their families murdered right and shot in the head right in front of them that came away from that and led good, productive, successful lives. And you're still crying and moaning because you got your butt tore up when you was a kid? You need to get real because it's going to come a time this world's getting so violent and so bad that people aren't going to care to hear your misery and your mess anymore, making excuses and producing a lot of more evil for every everybody else in this world. And people are going to get sick of it. And you think that your feelings got hurt when you was a little boy or a little girl? You ain't seen nothing yet. And if that day doesn't come, this world is going to end. I've never in my life, I heard a sheriff today, uh, three or six teens murdered in, uh, in, uh, up in Florida. And uh, yeah, I said up because I'm in South America right now. And that sheriff said, let me tell you, uh, press people something. You're terrible. You're awful. He said, when my kids were small, my barber had permission to beat their ass. And he said it just like that. And people need to stand up now. Those two parents come in there. He made excuses for them and he felt bad for them. I wouldn't even have done that uh, because the parents were going, the two crying mothers are going, had I known that these boys were bad, I wouldn't have let my 12-year-old girl go run off with them. What the hell are you doing letting your 12-year-old girl run off with any boys? How about that? You got a 12-year-old girl, her ass needs to be in the house or with an adult all the time. Have, have you not looked around in this world? Do you not see what you got men wearing pantyhose and dresses all over the TV and uh, perverted pedophiles being paraded on the uh, uh, Disney Channel. And you think that it's going to be safe down the street for your, your little boy or your little girl? Your people need to wake the hell up. That's what needs to go on. They need to wake up. Uh, I spent three hours uh, training my kids as I do every day in boxing.
every day. If I'm not doing that, and I'm an old man, I got a metal plate in my neck. It's damn long. Attached to my spine. I got a lot of physical problems. But I still make the time. And if I'm not doing that, I'm with him. I'm on top of what he does uh, for school. I homeschool. He's homeschooled. And in no way I'd let my 14-year-old badass kid that could beat the shit out of your kid loose in a school around your kid because of the emotional evil that your kids may spread to mine. And you should feel the same way about mine. And when the world wakes up to that and quits talking about, we got to love. You know, let me tell you something. Love is protecting the ones that you claim you love. Love is a verb. A verb is action. It, it is something you do uh, or is done to you. Uh, and there's no love walking around wanting to hand out lollipops and expecting one yourself as a mother or a father. You hoes running around here. My baby's daddy, you need to, you, your head, you need your ass beat with a switch. That's what you need. And you men out here, my baby mama, you need it too. You know, you have a damn kid you need to hook up and you both need to raise that kid together in the same damn house. How about that? Yeah, I said it. In the same house. And my baby mama, my baby daddy. And yet you run around and you claim you believe in God. You don't love God. You don't know who God is. You bring children into this world and uh, they're parentless. Uh, your man, the, the mama or the daddy's out here running around uh, trying to get girlfriends or boyfriends and not paying attention to what the hell their children are doing. And, it, and then you're crying and wanting sympathy and somebody to pay for the funeral because uh, your kid's been murdered because you didn't care enough to know who your kids were hanging around and you didn't know where the hell your kid was at They're out in the middle of the damn night. You should be ashamed of yourself. No sympathy coming from me. Not one ounce of it. My sympathy is for these kids, not for you sorry-ass parents, not for you sorry-ass PhD teachers sitting up wherever you sit, sucking the blood out of everybody with uh, getting rich off of tax money while you're claiming you're poor with all these great benefits, shoving candy down kids' throats, sucking the blood out of working people, and you don't work your damn self doing the right thing by these kids. Yeah, I said it. How about that? This video will not be coming down. It will not be coming down. And it is a shame when, the sh when a sheriff has to come out and jump all over the news, your TV and your radio you listen to, people, because they don't want to be honest about it. Because they don't want to offend you. Because they make money. The worse this world is, the more money they make. They are polluting the water you drink. They are polluting the food you eat. They are forcing you to take, put stuff in your body you don't want. They are lying to you about what they force you to put in your body. And they are killing you. Why the hell would you keep trusting these people? And these same people are the teachers, the psychologists, and the medical professionals that need to get the hell up out of child room because they don't know what the hell they're doing. No more than telling us to switch from butter to margarine, which has caused more, more damn heart attacks and more misery and more loss of parents and fat children because of it than eating butter. And yet you go to the supermarket and all you see is margarine and then a little, a little space for butter. So nobody's telling you the truth. But you know what? I'm telling a fundamental truth. And if you don't like it, 
I feel very, very sorry for you. And most importantly, I feel terribly sorry for your children. Because you, if you don't discipline your child, if you don't have the capability to whip your child, that you would let them go out here and get themselves killed, you are an abusive, sorry parent.